Howdy soldiers, Sergeant Fury here. Good day to everyone on this Sunday, the 26th of January, 2020. In our continuing Give Us This Day, our daily challenges, Ubisoft. Caleb09, welcome, young man. You manly man. No girly mans here. All manly man. Yes. Uh, we will get the Czech brothers to pump you up. Da. We follow our... Our teacher, the Schwarzenegger. Arnold. I can just see it now. What are you trying to tell me? The fucking movie Terminator Dark failed. Heads will fucking roll. <laughs> Mr. Freeze. Why don't I? I'm going to play that, Caleb. We are going to play Breakpoint on Tuesday in two more days when the Terminator event comes out. Unless you want to pay Sergeant Fury's kitty fun for the kitty cats. $50. Click on that little dollar sign right there. 50 bucks, and we will switch to Breakpoint right now. It's, this is called Sergeant Nick Fury's Pay to Play. <laughs> the only way. See? What's going on today there, Mr. Fury's and everyone else? <clears throat> we're, we're working it, man. We're going to do our challenges. Nice to see Ms. Nomad is actually online. So that's that's a good thing. I'm assuming that her internet, may, they must have like a temporary connection or something and then they decided to redo something yesterday because she disappeared. But she's online right now doing shit. So I'm, I'm assuming that sooner or later she'll make it here to the chat. And... Good morning, Joseph. How are you today, young man? All right, so we're going to go do our first challenge here, which is we got to kill six unit ad soldiers while stationary, okay? So lots of places to do that, however. Whoop, God, man, I hate this. Un undo that thing, man. Fucking crazy ass fucking map. Alright. I think where we're gonna go though. Gonna go over here. I've never liked this map. This the map feels spongy to me, man. Prototype BMX, good day to you, man. Oh, Joseph, man. What can I say, bro? You either, st you either stay or you go, right? Prototype, BMX, not a problem, man. Yeah, Joseph, I mean, what can you... Oh, you can't wait till you get home? Cool. Yeah, what are you going to do, Joseph? You're either going to stay there or you're going to leave, right? I mean, that's how it is. I lived in Southern California for years and years and years and years and years, bro. Over 50 years I lived there with earthquakes. I went through several big earthquakes. Several places I lived in got totally destroyed where I lived. You know what I mean? I went through a lot of shit holes, man. So, just one of those things there, soldier. Man, 
Now I move someplace where there's no fucking earthquakes. <sighs> well, I know that, bro, but you know what I mean? It's like it's bound to get worse and not get better, right? Does that make sense? Usually when they start, you start having them like that. You know what I mean? It's like usually it either means that you had a big one, which we didn't really hear that much about, you know, so or a big one's coming. Or, if you lived in Japan, I'd say you have a big-ass fucking Godzilla coming up to fucking fuck you in the butt. Good morning there, Ms. Nomad. Glad to see you paid your internet bill. Are you paying it on a daily basis now? Is that what happens? You gotta go down to the fucking general store down at the end, the bottom of the hill? Pay that internet fucking tab, and then they what? Like, they, they push a little button? <laughs> they, they push a little button, and then you're back on again? Nah, Miss Nomad, she's in good standing, guys. You know, I just joke with her. So what happened was I had a car or something took out a telephone pole first off where she lived. I had gone on Discord and I didn't see anything from you, so it must be a new message. So, yeah, she had a car or something hit the pole, so she, her internet got taken out the other day. And then it came back, and then right in the middle of gaming with her, just like, you know, she just disappeared off the face of the earth yesterday, out of chat, everything. So I assumed what happened was, is that was like a temporary pole that they put up and they were putting a more permanent pole in and that's why she got disconnected again. So even though we were here for a few hours, we didn't see you, so. But I could have swore I went this morning and looked and I didn't see no messages from you. Oh, congratulations. Look at you, 1701, man. Wowie zowie. We'll have to post a picture of that, huh? Aren't you the little shotzels? She's like, I'm, she's probably just busting a load right now waiting for me to read that fucking Discord and put this up, man. She's like, I don't want to say anything. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to say anything. What the fuck? Why don't you read the fucking Discord? Why don't you fucking show my goddamn fucking shit? Calm down there, Ms. Nomad. We're going to fucking toot your little tutor here right now there, honey bunny. You don't worry about it there, Ms. 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 Oh, and you want to take a screenshot yet? Yeah. The hostess with the mostess. Bring it on. Come on, man. What the fuck? Oh, did you hear what happened? That fucking coronavirus. See, look at that, man. Look at that, guys. Read them and fucking weep, pussies. Yep. 1701. She is officially a one-miler, man. So if you want to roll with Miss Nomad, apparently you got to be a one-miler. So just let you guys know. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Aeronomatic. P.S. Fucking prototype. Oh, my God. I got two fucking prototypes in the fucking house. This is crazy, man. I mean, the odds of having one fucking prototype around. Now I got P.S. Prototype, the boss, and the subordinate prototype BMX. Oh my god, my head's starting to fucking spin. If fucking Nomad comes around, I'll be just like going psycho fucking crazy. Because I'll have two prototypes and two fucking Nomads in the fucking house at the same time. Oh my god, this is insane in the membrane, man. No, no fucking way. This is not happening. Can't be happening to Sergeant Fury. Oh my god. 1701, folks. Are you reading it? Are you reading it, guys? 17 oh f and fucking one oh and two prototypes jesus are the freaking crazy i gotta bang my head on the table ah god can't handle it man the tension is too much ah oh, ps prototype man love you bro see i got two pro and and they're typing next to each other that's even more insane 
Holy shamungai, stop the freaking presses. <laughs> stop hurting the table. Yeah, that table, that table can take it. Trust me, soldier. That table's got some dents in it from my wood. <laughs> oh, my God, man. This is great. Good, mo good morning, everyone, man. Holy mother of God. So, yeah, as everyone can see, man, Ms. Nomad is past a mile, man. She Her longest shot, 1,701 meters. You guys want to take screenshots of that, make sure you screenshot it and tweet it to everybody. Tell all those guys that you know that think they're hot shit marksmen to step up or shut up. <laughs> so, that's... Super, super kudos. I knew she was going to do that. So after I get done doing these challenges, um, if she's still around, she's going to she's gonna be able to show us where that all is. We're going to do a special video on that. So just to let everybody know. Because she's already gotten seven kills past 1,700 meters. So she's got it dialed in. So yeah. Nice, man. Nice. Congratulations again on that, Ms. Nomad. That is rocking it. <sighs> Let me take a deep breath here, everyone. Whoo, man. I'm just like, what a morning, man. Thank God I only got one aeronomatic in the house. If I got another fucking nomadic show up, I'm going to like, that would really just be, that would be, no, can't be only, only one aeronomatic, folks. They're like, what the fuck is Sarge going on about? About this Omatic dude. Who's this Omatic guy, man? It's something Aaron and I had from a long time ago. So. So. You guys are going to just have to live with it, man. Sarge gives people nicknames sometimes. I'm like our leader of our country. You know, I come up with these crazy nicknames. So, occasionally. So, and that just fit him. He didn't mind it. So, he didn't mind it. I don't mind it. We don't mind it. It's all good. Just like you can, you can just type in small SGT. That's all you got to put in there when you talk to me in chat. Just like that, see? I am. I'm going to take some pills because if I don't, I'm going to pill out. Well, one of the reasons why I was taking so long this morning to get online since it's afternoon already, is I was working on a customer's notebook because their motherboard fried in their notebook, so I had to get another motherboard for them. So at this moment, <clears throat> I'm updating the windows on it and all that shit, so that's what I was busy this morning with because the motherboard came in yesterday and they've been waiting patiently for about a month. So I thought, well, I'll go ahead and pop that new motherboard in and we'll fire this puppy up and... But it's updating to that new ver to the newer version of Windows, so that'll probably take it all day. But at least I'm making some progress. Ciao, Chocula. Every time I get a long kill, it says 13 minutes or so. I have a friend hold the enemy. The bullets go right through the guy like three or four times in a row and never registers. Oh, no, man. We're going to show you a better way to do it than that. And good morning, by the way. Now, we do free shooting, bro. All our shots are free shots, man. Yeah, 100% solo, all free shot, bro. And good morning, by the way, man. Yeah, once I do once I do these challenges here, then we're going to do an, another video that will be up on the YouTube to show people how to do this. It's very easy to do, man. We're going to start out short and then we'll work farther away. Oh, prototype, BMX. Look up yours. You did your long shot solo. Hold on there, bro. We can we can do that there, young man. Are you on my friends list? You're on my friends list, right? Because you'd have to be on my friends list for us to find you. Well, it doesn't look like you're on my friends list, bro. Once you get on my friends list, we could do that in chat. 
Or you can always put it up on the Discord and shit too. Unless you have a different name. Are you going by a different name? <laughs> I hate it when you guys go by different names. You drive me crazy. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Unidad up here where I'm at. You guys see where I'm at? I'm going to go kill these dudes over here at FOB Butry. You got to kill six guys in a row without moving. And I probably won't do it as good as Ms. Nomad, but I'm going to try. All right, well, like I said, you can either do it on the Discord and put it over there, or close that little flute up there. Over here. You get comfy in my seat. Yeah, lots of lots of practice there in the sniping world. All right, so we're gonna come go up on top here, and I might try it up on top. I'll see. I'll see if I'm good as Ms. Nomad, and she probably did it from up here. So we'll see. We'll see. Not gonna guarantee anything. I usually do it from down below, but it's starting to make me look real fucking bad. I mean, Jesus. Oh yeah, this might be too far for me. I don't think I can do it from over here. Sniper up in the tower. Be able to. We'll see. We'll have to see what the happens. Alarms rigged up. Yeah, get some fucking alarms rigged up, the motherfuckers. Ask the rebels to recon the area for us. Sending our intel on enemy positions. Sniper, top of the tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your mother's mustache. Sniper up in the tower. How many guys got to get without moving? Six? Uh, we will in a little bit here. That's what we're going to do after I do the challenges. Uh, we're going to join. We're going to join forces. And we're going to get that done for you guys. Guys, you're just gonna have to, just gonna have to have some patience and wait. That's all. That's all. All right. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five. One, one two, three, four, five. Oh my God! I got it! I got it! I got to Get six dudes. Right? What the heck? I better not be a frickin'. What's going on? Can't do it from up here. I'm not that good. I usually do this down south too. I've never done it here before. This would be a first. This would be a first. I did did do it here. I've never done it here. Let them chop in the plant. Um, one thing about breakpoint that you can do, which is really cool, is chop down the um, like the palms and all that with the rotors.
Yeah, if you go look at the video from the other day, Ms. Nomad, you'll see it on the stream from the other day. When you and I were together, you take your time and look through that video from a couple days ago. It'll show you when you got that 1548. Remember I told you it said 1602? Whatever day I tweeted, the 1602 is the same day of the stream. And the same, remember I put it up on Discord, so you can go check out that video and it'll show you all that shit. If you like. And then you can let him know what part to show him. So you can go check it out. We can do it that way too, that'll work. What will work? Don't make me like take you out to the ball game. Sniper, hey, hey. top of the tower. Let's see if I can do this one now. This one's a little bit more trickier. A little bit more work. Oh, Chow Chocula. I am pronouncing it CIO. Doesn't have an A on the end, but I'm going to call you Chai. Instead of Count Chocula, <laughs> which is too kiddish. We can call you the Goodbye Chocula. Like, adios amigos, I'm killing you. That type of chocula. No, where's my MSR, man? I'm gonna kill six of these ding dongs in a row. I'm not moving, right? Came up with this freaking crazy challenge. for this guy to come back out.
here. Get up, dude. Radnador! At ease, soldier. You're so funny, bro. You are so funny, dog. At ease, soldier. You are having to look over at the chat. God damn it. Look, you dying on us. Man, if I can get this guy to that window, that would be rocking. But I'd like to wait till he came up, comes back out again. Shit, should have shot him first. Let's see what he does. I think I can hit him. But I don't know why all of a sudden he decided to sit down inside of there. Ding dong. He was standing up, it was perfect. Oh, fuck me, man. Am I going to hit this motherfucker or am I going to miss this one? Hey, you fucking puss. Feel the power of the fury. Jimbo, welcome, young man. Hope you're having a great day today. Randonator, there you go, man. You're at ease. I'm at ease. Unidad's at ease. We're all at ease, soldiers. Okay, here we go. Extreme difficulty using only assault rifles. Play a Mojo Koyo Alpha to complete the mission, the outpost. Mojo Koyo Alpha, the outpost. The end post. Sure, we'll do that. Okay, there we go. We're assault uh, rifled up, and we are rocking it on the outpost. And we need to go to Alpha, right? Start, correct? I believe that's what it said. All right. So here we go, man. Second challenge of the day. Yeah, I always like that base right there to do the six without moving because you can get them all between 300 meters or less. So for most of you, that'll work out perfect. If you want to be fancy like Miss Nomad, then you would stay farther back up up the hill on the uh, runway and you guys can get your 500 meter shots on those dudes because it can be done I just wanted to get the challenge done you know as expeditiously as possible okay so and what do I got to do over here um, uh, 
Santa Monica Communication Market contain message logs, cartel senior administrator, internet communication, and message and hackets logs. Okay, I guess I can do that. Why does this sound familiar? In We've got a location on a Santa Blanca communications hub in Montioc. I need you to hack the hub's message logs and see if we can ID the guy running their training program. Cool. All right. Do I get my little uh, solar challenge? Yep. There we go. Okay. We're at one of two. Cool. We can come over here. Yeah, she's rocking it, man. 1701 meters. Oh, you do? Prototype BMX? Nice. Alright, so what do we gotta do over here? We gotta hack into some shit. I don't remember this one. They all start blurring together after a while. Yeah, hacking that. The hackins. In the hacking sack up the hill. Oh, I know which one this is. Okay, yeah, I know which one this is now. Alright. I'm on it. Yeah, it's like trying to remember which one this is. I'm like, God damn, man, which one is this? Like, I, I, I remember now. This one. Yep. Got it. Okay. Yep, yep, we're on it. Yeah, Koopa Koopas. Let's go this way, dudes. Up the hill, man. Yeah, I remember what we're doing now. Down a brain part for a second. But then I remembered what it was. Hey, big guy. Welcome, man. Happy Sunday to you, too. It's so nice to see you hanging out around here. Thanks for joining us. We have our little adventure here. All right. So, first thing on the menu is EMP the gates, right? Because if you don't EMP the gate, then the rebels can't get inside. Cool. Now that's the whole trick is you want to let the rebels inside. Now... It says assault rifles only, so that means we can't use, the, we're not going to be able to F up the dude on the mortar, right, with our, um, yeah, we're not going to be able to F up the dude on the mortar, so belay, the, belay any orders that you think you're going to, like, yeah, don't use the mortar, you know, the mortar's there, so you're just going to have to wing it. 
Yeah. The whole trick is to get them on that mortar right away, but just it is what it is, man. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Rebels. But we'll do our best here. I copy, amigo. A fire team will move into position. Now, see, we could designate a place to spawn a vehicle. I could spawn a fucking vehicle take right on top of that mortar. That would be cool. That would take care of the mortar. But we can take out the alarm if they have an alarm, so. I got eyes on a generator. The baby makes three. Okay, we can go over here. We'll do this. Take out the Jenny. Which would have taken out the doors too, yeah, but. Okay, so. Yeah, for this challenge, you're not allowed to use anything on except for the assault rifle. So, no grenades, man. No, no granadas. Be nice, but yeah, no granadas. But that's cool, because we got the rebels, man. Rebels are rocking, man. Rebels are good. We love our rebels. Rebels love us. We love them. I mean... Then what you're gonna do, you're gonna call in some dudes to like be with you, and then like they're gonna go jump into the fight too, like okay. guns for hire. Right oh yeah, cause they'll see what's happening, it'll be like a little fricassee here, man. They'll be all excited. As long as we don't get mortared, just make sure you gotta be careful if you don't get mortared. That'd be a bad thing. I want, I want you to get mortared. So far, these guys aren't fighting. Why? All right, let's go kill some people, maybe. And it's really weird. I haven't, I haven't heard the mortar yet. Let's see what's happening here. Yep. Oh, that too, man. Whatever they said. Take two, make mine extra spicy. Coming up on the objective now. Need to get inside and hack their message logs for intel. Let's move. The rebel's gonna go at this dude, that man. Get him. That's so. Could be one more over there somewhere. La cucaracha, la cucaracha, da, 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 da. la cucaracha, la cucaracha, oh, got a runner. Da, 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 da. Rebels without a cause. Guns for hire. Da 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 a cucaracha! Wow. 
Wow, nothing on TV, man. Got a laptop here. What do you think, man? Looks like it's connected to the network. Fuck yeah, let's see, what let's see what's fucking it. happening on Breakpoint. Oh fuck, Breakpoint servers are Downloading. fucking down. God Pushing damn it. To to oh, bro Stand by. Broke point servers are down, man. Sorry guys. No porno, man. Oh yeah. La cucaracha, man. We'll leave a marker so the rebels can pick up the supplies later. I had Count Chocula cereal, man. I'm a Count Chocula cereal, dude. What other type of cereal would I eat? La Cucaracha! Viva! Viva Victoria's Secret! Cool. Alright, so there you go, man. Thank God for Victoria's Secret. Yep. Alright, what do we gotta do next? Oh, God. Save the hardest one for last. El Sueño's Convoy. Convoy. Picara Charlie. Picara. 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 I always wanted to say, <laughs> say that. When first time I heard that name, I was like, wow, that sounds like some bird, man. I swear to God, that sounds like a fucking bird. Does that sound like a bird to you? El Sueño is sending Sounds like a, a freaking birdie to me. Bacara, Bacara, Bacara. See? Sounds like a bird, huh? Intercept and destroy those trucks. Never mind. Ghost unit, JK. Oh no, this challenge is real hard, Ms. Nomad. Oh no. No, we're not we're not touching any helicopters with a ten foot pole. It's not happening, soldiers. Nope. Nope. Can't make me do it. Not good. Not prudent. Not good for the country. Nope. Barb says it's no good. Yeah, okay. So the first thing you want to do, because Ubisoft loves to cheese this thing. Don't worry about that train, man. Come over here and check over here. You mean to do a situational awareness? All right, so we're all good. Come in, get everyone getting the chopper. All right, get the chopper. Fly the friendly skies, man. Right up this little canyon, right here. Nice and easy, does it? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Fucking Sailor Sam. All right, up the canyon there, stud muffin. Up, 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 stand away. In our beautiful, our beautiful, baloo, boo, 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 our boo, boo. All right, come over here, this little spot right here. All right. Hang out. I'm surrounded by pussy cats. All right. Down, down. All right, come on over here. Get your HTI out, kids. Don't try this at home. All right. Take aim. Should have done it with those five rounds, you pinky puta. Can't believe I blew that fucking truck up. Perico there we and go. the cartel are pretending that nothing happened, but that rebel broadcast Bing. is still watching by the locals. The word from Capitari got, is that people are lining up to join the fight against Santa Blanca. Let's hope it was the right play. I get nervous when any player in the game gets too strong. Afraid the socialists are going to get too big for their bridges. Oh, well, yeah, we got to do it the easy way. We got to do it chow chocula. We, got, we can't do it the hard way, man. We got to make sure everybody does it real easy peasy. Yeah, so make, makes it much easier for us that way. 
But yeah, that's if I if you want to do all that, you can go down there and sneak around and put C4 on everything and all that cool shit. But for those that are expeditious and want to just get this shit done, that's the fastest way to do it. Okay, now our last challenge is we got to kill a bunch of um, snipers, right? Does that make sense? I think that's what it. I think that's what it said. Something about snipers, a bunch of snipers, correct? Oh God, what am I looking for? Hold on, I'll get it together here. It all makes sense. It all makes sense in the long run. Oh yeah, this is what I'm looking for right here. Nope, that's not it. That's not the one I want. What is the fucking one I want? Err. No, it's a combat outpost. You don't want that one. Ha, hold on, hold on. Uh, nope, no, no, I don't want that one. And the safe house is right up the fucking hill from it, so I don't know why I'm having a hard time remembering where it's at, but give me a second, because I'm having a brain fart. There you go. Mr. Bad Boy Dan, good morning to you, young man. Well, we're getting all the Dans in the house. Dan Tamlin should be here. Then we'll have three Dans. So see, our, the Dans are outnumbering the prototypes. Thank God. So, PS Prototype, what have you been up to lately? Besides work, work, work. You weren't playing Death Death Standing, were you? I can't remember who was playing that. I don't know if you guys were playing it. All right, so where we're going is right down the hill. Come on, dude. There's a hospital. A Unidaddy hospital. Get it? Oh, God, don't do that, Sarge. Don't do it. Crazy, mofo. You crazy. I didn't even have my cream of wheat this morning yet because the girlfriend doesn't feel good, so mm, that's the only one I'm going to do. I'm going to have to fix my own. It's not hard to fix. It takes, it takes a couple minutes. I'll whip that sucker up. Okay, so we got to kill some snipers. So the reason I come over here is because it's like four sniper dudes. So since we got to kill 12 of them, then we'll have the task force challenge done, by the way. Well, I say good morning, but it's actually afternoon. It's 1.18 now. I'm still on morning time. Because normally I stream a little earlier, but did some customer work this morning. Sorry. all backwards I'm, I'm getting ass backwards I'll try to get my ass forward for you guys how's that where's that new one at this one the um is it this one I can't remember which one it is I think it's this one 
Oh yeah, that's not it's this one. Yeah, I guess I'll run around with this one for a little bit. It matches matches my outfit a little bit. So we'll rock with that. Sneaking around here and kill some dudes and in case you want to know what where all the Unidad guys are that we're killing, this is where the Unidad guys end up right here. Yep. You guys probably didn't even know that. I didn't know Unidad had a hospital. This is a hospital or hospital. Getting a church. Yep. A little monument right here. In memory of all the soldiers that have fallen. Oh, that's nice, man. All that work that you did, and then they left. Wow. You gotta love it, huh? A lot of work for you have to do for that, for nothing. This one's a little tricky because you're right on the road, so you might get spotted by Unidad, so you gotta be careful. And there's usually some guys on the range over here using the range. So, be careful. Oh, cool. At least you got it done, bro. 
That's all that matters. Oh, it's like one of these bridges I can't get by. I love it. Yeah, what happened was that was a guy that was walking back to the range, man. I should have just capped that fool. Since it's only a task force challenge, it doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter if I kill anybody else. You know what I mean? So I could have shot that guy with a pistol. I just thought I could sneak by him, but no biggie. We'll quiet down in a second, and I'll get the other guys. You guys are all go away. We'll be, we'll be back to normal. RSG, man. You taking off, bro? What are you doing, man? You gonna go do some gaming? Cool, man. 2K shot. Yeah. Thanks for coming and hanging out at RSG. Have a great Saturday or Sunday. I mean, have a great Sunday, whatever you're going to do. Whatever it may be. I might go do these other guys first over here and we'll come back. I usually go this way because there's two guys in the woods on the other side. So I can take that dude out there and then that other sniper right there. Do those two and then there's another one. I take that this guy out right there. That guy. And then there's sniper up in the tower there. Come on. We're going to do him. I do up there. That guy. Sniper, top of the tower. So we already got that guy up there, up the hill. And then we got this guy right here. So you get four, and then you could just fast travel up to the top of the safe house again, and then rinse and repeat. So, except you need us three times. But we might as well do this for our task force members. And then we'll go do some shit with Miss Nomad. and start a new video. This is why my challenge is all done on today. I feel good about it. Now, there's a guy down below over here somewhere, so you gotta be careful. There's some dude walking around down below him. Exactly where I'm not sure again, but he's walking on somewhere. Oh yeah, mouse mouse makes a big difference, bro. Makes a huge difference. Big, big, big difference. Yeah, there's a guy walking around here, so I gotta be careful. This nomad uses a sniper mouse. A lot of people are going to say, I didn't even know there was a such thing as a sniper mouse. That's what you're going to say next, right?
Oh, what the fuck? I don't know how that guy saw me. Damn it. <sighs> Crap, man. Crap, Barry. Alright, hold on. I gotta start up this customer's notebook. It looks like it's done updating its Windows thing here. Pretty fancy notebook, man. Lit up keyboard and everything, man. You know you got an expensive one when it's got the keyboard lit up. do two things at once, sorry. I work on my customer's computer at the same time. Welcome back, Carter. Your date, time. Since uh, she's on, must be some stupid West Coast shit here. Oh, excuse me. Update one more time. Can't believe since Windows 95 has come out, they've had your trash can set at 10% of your hard drive size. Do you guys write? click on your recycling bin and go to properties, you'll be surprised to see that your recycling bin is 10% of your hard drive.
So all you need to do is set it at 10, mega, 10 megabytes. You don't need a big giant trash can. It's like, it's like crazy, man. I've seen more people have problems with, um, just relax. I've had seen more people have problems with hard drive space and then I change their hard drive from frickin', you know, four, 400 and some gigs down to 10 megabytes. And they're like, oh, I got all this hard drive space. Whoa, cool. How'd that happen? All right, yeah, see, there's always these two guys walking along the woods over here. That's why I keep getting capped. In case you want to know what the fuck's going on. These are a little exercise course over here. They're endurance course. These guys always get me there. Let me move. Because I'm trying to multitask here. There you go. to say download. Alright, try downloading that shit. There's another spot I go that I usually kill this guy. It just takes a little bit longer. Usually this is a little bit faster, but I don't know how this guy seems to be able to spot me. Oh, goddamn, I remember how this fucking fence goes. You don't have goddamn fucking fence cutters in this piece of shit fucking game. Ah, motherfucker, man. It's the fucking stupidest goddamn fucking thing I've ever seen in my fucking life, man. Frag out. Yeah, this is clouds. how we have to get out through a fence in the wild end. Just chuck a fucking grenade, that's all. Man, stupid fucking game, man. Fuck me, man. Oh, but in Breakpoint, we got some stupid fucking torch that you don't even need because every place you go, there's always an opening in the fence. So, But for some reason, we have a torch. But we have no fucking wire cutters to get to a fence in this game, and everywhere is fenced in this game. It's a total fucking opposite, man. Fucking stupid, man. It's a lighter. Exactly, man. That's what it looks like. It looks like you're going to be doing dabs, man, and you have to heat up your fucking bowl before you do any dabbing. You know, to heat that titanium fucking nail up, man, before they put that fucking bowl on there, man. Jesus. Yeah, that was that's how you get through fences in the wildlands, man. Just fucking throw a fragmentation grenade. I get two fences, or with a vehicle, whatever, whatever's the most convenient at the time. But, um, yeah, man, it's like crazy. That was one of the things we asked a long time ago in this game about. Is like, is there any way we could get, like, wire cutters? Since there's, like, a lot of fencing around everywhere. So we'd have to, like, use a grenade. But, nope, they never really thought it was something that we needed. 
Nope, wasn't on the number one requested item list. Remember I told you to have that list of all the requested items? I can't see squat. The drone's being jammed. Yeah, see? So we gotta go turn off the jammer. Sniper up in the tower. Sniper, top of the tower. A bong, a converted bong, man. I'm telling you, man, it's like it doesn't make any sense. So when this game first came out, was one of the first things we asked. Was like, oh, cool. So we're gonna get a um, pending install your device. Okay. Oh, downloading. Okay. So it's still updating. See what I see what it's doing. The Falconator. Welcome to the Fury Formation, bro. So glad to have you around, man. T T eight hundred versus drones, Joseph. Oh well, the which drones? There's a lot of different drones, right? Some of them drones are pretty badass, man. What stuttering? Yeah, what stuttering are you having, Ghost Unit? I didn't see that comment about stuttering. Cameron Reed, what's going on? Happy Sunday to you, man. How do I stop the game from stuttering? This game right here? You're getting stuttering in this game? How are you listening to the game? How, well, how is your audio set up? Do you use um, HDMI cable going to a monitor with speakers? Are you using headphones? A behemoth? A uh, behemoth. I, I would say a titan, man. Let's go with gargoyle or titan or something cool, bro. Come on, Joseph. He could probably go over there and smack a behemoth all around. Well, I know you're on PC. <laughs> oh, Cameron, you're taking off. You just stopped by to say hello? Oh, very nice, Cameron. You have a wonderful Sunday then, man. Thank you so much for taking the time and coming by. Didn't know you weren't going to hang out, but yep, thank you for stopping by. And we'll talk to you later, man. Sniper's not like doing, he's just like chilling in this one spot. Oh, there he goes, finally. I forgot I could turn off the power over here.
this guy out. Put it on that side. Oh. I like that sound it makes, that swishy noise. All right. Yeah, ghost unit stuttering can be caused by several things, bro. We have to be a little more specific to be able to help you. Yeah, you have to be a little more specific for us to be able to help you, bro. Oh, James Burrow. What's going on there, sir? Is Wildlands better? Uh, yeah. My long shot, bro. Not even the same, man. You got to go back up to the top of the hill to reset this whole thing again because I've already gone around. Hope I'm not taking too long, Ms. Nomad. The T850 was supposed to run on candy bars. What the hell are you talking about, Joseph? That's crazy.
Tusef, what's going on there, young man? I'm going to get another cup of coffee, everyone, so hold, hold tight. Hold down the fort, man. I'll be right there. Falling. Get up. Oh my god. Ouch. All right, everyone, I'm back. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, shit balls. All right, what are you guys talking about now? What type of shit? Type of stuff you guys talking about now? A rebel without a cause. I'm a rebel without a cause, Miss Nomad. You let me die all the time. 
Wow. Well, that's not saying very much for Sarge, is it? Huh? Yep. Sarge dropping like flies. I play with Miss Nomad. No March say. It's always Marcy, Marcy, Marcy. <coughs> Just getting over that freaking cold, and now the girlfriend has it. Great. That is freaking great. We weren't even swapping spit. Jesus. You can see it, man. I've had mono or something, huh? Yep. Gave the girlfriend fucking mono. You can see it now. Mono, mono, man. He's got to be a mono man. I said a mono, mono man. He's got to be the mono man. Hey! That's what's happening on fucking Ewok Village. I told you, they got mono, man. They all been swapping spit in that fucking volcano over there, having these big sex orgies and shit. Yep, people show up there for transplant, breast transplant, sex changes. Look at Hoyt. Hoyt's got his new boobies going on. Nomad's like, oh, you just lay right there. He's like, oh, but who's going to kiss your ouchie, your owie for you? Whatever the fuck he was saying that day. That Ms. Nomad was totally shocked. Yeah, nobody believed me. Sarge had to fire it up. I had to fire it up so you guys could hear the truth. <laughs> Straight from their voices. Yeah, because you didn't believe me. Like, nah, there's no break. There's no broke back mountain stuff going on, Sarge. Oh, yeah. Well, I got the proof, man. We've been there. We've been to the top of the mountain, and it's ugly. <laughs> That's all I can say. It's not pretty, guys. It's not pretty. It's ugly. Yeah. Yep. We've been to the mountain, and it is dry. <laughs> That's all I can say. They ain't all fucking you lube, no reach around, nothing, man. I'm telling you, man, it's it's a sad state of affairs in Aurora. They make it sound so pretty, right? Aurora, come visit Aurora. Nah, man, nah. It's all a ploy, guys. It's all a fucking ploy. I'm telling you straight up, man. You go there, it's Edenistic. 100 fucking percent. All sorts of crazy shit happening. Yep. It's crazy, man. That's it. I don't know what they are possibly thinking. But, yeah, because you got that guy that's like my age. And he's getting, he's like, gee, I don't know what a 20-year-old girl sees in me. I'm like, well, dude, you're, you're like tripping because Jay Skell and fucking Woody Allen over there, they got 15-year-old <coughs> daughters that are hanging out here with them, right? But no wives. I was like, hmm, this is like very convenient, huh? Yeah, yeah, very, very, very effing fucking convenient. Huh. Oh, you guys aren't thinking very fast, are you, huh? Huh. Huh. Come on. His wife gets killed in 9-11-2001, right? Just after she has the baby. This is 2025, okay? And the freaking girl is 15 years old. You guys do the fucking math. Okay? It's not hard to figure out. Somehow, they're regressing in age. Him and Woody Allen. like, And Woody Allen, you remember him. That's the dude you meet on the dock, 
right? When he's so-called trying to escape from the island with his daughter. I'm like, dude, where's the fucking wife? He doesn't even talk about his wife at all. You don't know no backstory with him. Oh, no. So, they both got 15-year-old daughters. Frickin' Maria is fucking Waylon Jennings' 20-year-old little homesteady wife, remember? That runs a fucking shyster store with the overpriced fucking shit that they sell us and then they buy it back at half price of what they sell it to us in the game for. So, like, she ain't got the fucking... They, I mean, they're making money hand over fucking fist. I mean, Jesus. Right? Then you got Dr. Ballard. Let me see. Dr. Ballard makes a fucking virus that affects the DNA of the homesteaders. Then what do we do? We bring Dr. Ballard there to Ewok Village so he can cure all the homesteaders. I'm like, are you guys like fucking crazy? So, we got the main bad guy, Jay Scale, there with his hitchman, Woody Allen, their two 15-year-old daughters. Now we got the fucking mad scientist. All we need is that crazy Russian Herzog lady, right? The one from Wolfenstein, New Colossus. That crazy lady, her sister. Yeah, her. We got her looking in the background, and we got the dude from the fucking bayou in Louisiana and shit. I tell you, this story's like... Got more fucking... This is like a regular opera, soap opera, man. This is like a freaking crazy shit going on here, man. Yeah, drink that. Drink that shit. Drink... I don't want to touch you. You got some fucking... She's got the fucking coronavirus and she wants me to touch her. She just came back from China and she's got the coronavirus and she wants me to touch her. Great. Yeah, she went to fucking China overnight. That's what she said. I gotta go protest in Hong Kong. I told I told the told told Mrs. Homemaker, don't go to fucking Hong Kong. Don't go to that fucking protest over there. Stay right here in the fucking states with the Sarge. No, no, they're Asians. I gotta go protest. I'm like, fuck, they're Asians. Who gives a fuck? I'm American. You don't see me protesting in every goddamn protest in our country. Are you crazy? Oh, well, then you might be a Hong Kong citizen, too. You might have to go back there. We might have to send her back. Now the truth is coming out. Oh, my God. Her fucking family escaped. She's like, oh, well, you know, I do have some type of family roots. And she might be a fucking communist fucking agent here to spy on the Sarge. Mother of fucking God. This is getting deep, man. This is getting crazy. Ah, too many fucking prototypes in chat. Too many Dan's in chat. Now we got Chinese agents. We got the fucking coronavirus floating all over the place. Wow. Now, and they're coughing in Ewok Village, right? But listen to this. That coronavirus? Oh, yeah. Paris. Paris. Yep. Confirm. Confirmed. Um, confirmed cases in Paris. <laughs> it starts sniffing glue. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hell of a day to stop sniffing glue. <laughs> You're hilarious. Yep. It's a hell of a day to stop taking pain pills. Yep. Shirley, you gotta be kidding. No, and stop calling me Shirley. <laughs> Timmy, have you ever had a dog come up and hump on your leg? <laughs> I'm telling you, man. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy. So anyways, yeah, that coronavirus, it's in Paris. Oh, yeah. And you know why? Because they, they have all these crazy people there that even that lady that works at Ubisoft, she went home for the Chinese holiday. They did an expose last month, you know, and they do those women of Ubisoft. If you guys look at your front end, Ms. Ms. Nomad probably read this one on this Chinese girl. 
Remember, and she studied over there, and her play, her parents had all the illegal video games on their PC and shit when the Chinese government cracked down on the consoles. So then she became a programmer, and she came over here, and she worked for Ubisoft, and says, yeah, I'm going home for the Chinese New Year's and shit. So now she's back at Ubisoft. So guess what? They're going to be coughing for fucking real at Ubisoft fucking Paris, man. Not only at Ewok Village, they're going to be walking around. Everybody's going to be coughing because the fucking coronavirus has just hit fucking Ubisoft Paris. That's like some crazy, full fucking circle, serendipitous, whatever the fucking karmatic crazy shit you want to talk about, man. How much crazier can that be? That you make a fucked up video game with a fucking virus in it, and then your employees, because there's several people there that went home to China for the holidays and came back. Oh, yeah. Go Google it right now. You think I'm lying? Go Google it. Several confirmed cases in Paris. I'm like, yeah, because the freaking crazy Chinese people that work at Ubisoft, and they already got everybody sick. Oh, yeah. Damn, this is like some cool shit for a Sunday. What a Sunday program. <laughs> Oh, my God, man. Ubisoft, they're in trouble now. Yep. They got the coronavirus. Now what are they going to do? Huh? How are they going to cure it in a video game? They're going to be, like, worried about in real life curing that shit. Oh, yeah. Nope. Isn't that funny? The two... Oh, the only two confirmed places outside of China are the United States and France. Uh, the only two places that they've confirmed it, and it was in Paris, and then the other one was the uh, one was in Chicago, and the other one was where was the dude at? He came back to. I know Chicago was one in the first one. I can't I don't can't remember if it was New York or not. Chocolate, you gotta take off. You check the video out later. Oh yeah, you will. It'll be up, bro. Oh, in Canada. Okay, Morton. Hey, Morton. Welcome, bro. Or afternoon, I should say. We will have the video up, I promise you. I'm going to go down and kill some more of these guys, and I'll go hang out with Miss Nomad. We'll do another video. I promise, man. I promise. We're, we're getting there. You know, it's, it's a slow Sunday here, bro. But the videos will be up. But thank you so much for spending time with us today. It was great to meet you. And um, feel welcome to um, leave comments and all that stuff. Subscribe to the channel. Likes. All that crazy crap. We get to 10,000. I know what I'm going to give away now. Because I have a collector's edition of Ghost Recon Wildlands. Of the Santa Morte statue, the death statue, you know, with the angel wings, the skull one, with the sickle and shit. I have one of those, a collector's, probably a cream of wheat. I don't, I don't want, that's a weird combo. <laughs> that's, that's like a weird combo. Weird. So, anyways, yeah, I was gonna. I wanted to give that away with some posters. I had a limited edition posters. I had that statue, and I was going to sign the statue. Or I might not because it's inside the box. It's all sealed. We'll see. might just leave it in the box and sign the box or whatever. That way it doesn't contaminate it if you want to have to sell it to somebody. <laughs> oh, prototype BMX. Not a problem, man. We'll be around. We're not going anywhere. Yeah, so it's sort of weird that it, it's that it's uh, over there in Paris, man. I'm not saying that lady brought it back, but I know that there's her and several other people do work for Ubisoft Paris that are from China, and she did mention that she was going to go back there for the holidays in that little article, I believe, that they had on her. That's okay. I'm sure they'll get on top of this thing pretty quick. 
What's amazing is, I don't know if you watch the news regarding that while I go back down the hill here. Um, I don't know if you watch the news regarding that, how they, they built that hospital on a weekend. Like they just started building this hospital on Friday, a thousand bed hospital, and it'll be done tomorrow. Yeah, you, you didn't hear me wrong. Yep, a thousand bed hospital. When they showed the site that they were excavating, you know, here in the United States, you see when they excavate a site, you know, to get ready to build a, the foundation for a building, you'll see one of those steam shovels, right? You know, that's on the tracks moving around in one truck, right? And they're like grading everything down and they got a surveyor guy and he's having them do all the heavy digging for the foundation. They show this news clip and there's like 60 or 70 of these frickin' steam shovels on this site at the same time, all fucking chopping the soil. It's crazy. <laughs> hey, Morton, you're spying on me, man. My nephew, Morton. Um, yeah, so it's amazing, man, how many steam shovels they had there at one time. It was like crazy. I was like, oh, my God. I said, man, they are not messing around, man. They said, nope, they'd have it done by Monday, man. I'm like, see, that's, you know, it's, it's this is what I don't understand. It's like, you know, we pride ourselves in the United States on how fast. During World War II, you would be amazed if I told you how many airplanes they turned out every single day from Lockheed. How many, you know... Fighters and bombers and, you know, Lockheed, McDonnell, Douglas and Boeing turned out every single day. I mean, hundreds of planes a day, man. You know, same with like tanks and trucks and jeeps. And we didn't just like make a couple. We were cranking those fucking things out. You know, and somewhere along the line, man, Americans got more interested in joining unions and benefits and you know, having all this shit and milking jobs and taking their time, you know, instead of cranking shit out like we used to. We don't do that no more. We've lost that. Ab I know we could do it if we had to. It just that uh, people just don't have the motivation. Because companies are all based on, you know, they want to they want to make products fast, but there's a give and take on how much they can pay their employees, right? And this is, you know, that's why unions come in and, you know, and then, you know, and people have a tendency to have, want to have cushiness and job security. So if you work at a certain pace, that's why when the younger guys come in, the older guys are there, they'll always say, oh, you got to slow down. You're going to work yourself out of a job. You know, I heard that all the time at Lockheed, right? When I was first there, because I was a go-getter and I worked with two guys that had been there over 40 years. And they said, yeah, you're going to work yourself out of a job, you know? And they said, because you work too fast. And they said, they're going to lay people off, and you got low seniority, so you're going to get laid off first. You know, so this is this is the downside of seniorities and unions and things like that. And, you know, and, you know, but you see it everywhere. You see it in the healthcare industry, you know, where doctors, you know, are like overwhelmed, so they can spend so much time with the patient, but... They got a gazillion fucking people waiting in the waiting room. You know, it's like crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, and Rosie the Riveter, I was proud to say, you know, she was from Lockheed Aircraft Company. You know, and, and when I came back from the military, I took the same attitude, see? I came back from the military and, you know, my boss started talking shit to me. And first thing I told him was, well, dude, if you want to step outside, we can take our badges off. Oh, God damn it. Fuck me, man. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the chat. So, yeah, you know, so, yeah, I got I got a bunch of shit when I came back from the Army, but, you know, I went in there and told this guy basically that I could outwork everybody there. 
like eight times over. I said, dude, you are so lazy. I said, you and the rest of the supervisors, all the red badges. I said, you guys are so lazy, along with all these lazy workers that are around here. So this guy was like about ready to blow a fucking gasket, man. It's like the vein in his forehead was like, like just like expanding, man, because he had all his other buddies around him, man. Looked at it as like Mr. Hot Shit. Mr. Rudy Garcia was his name. Oh, yeah, he thought it was hot shit, man. So he took me over to this work area. You know, it had all these people that were under, like, forced labor almost, man. You wouldn't think they were union people because nobody could talk to each other. Nobody was allowed to sit. They all had, no one had stools or chairs. They had to stand all day at their work area, you know. Even though they were right next to each other, like, nobody could talk and... I was like, oh, fuck that shit. I started talking to people, man. People are like flipping out, man. They're like, oh, my God. The evil overlord's going to come over here and fucking beat you, man. You know, and the shelves were packed with work. They had these metal racks, you know, and the shelves were like 12 inches apart. And there was, you know, 10, 10 shelves on there. Easy. Oh, that's right. I got, remember, I got these two ding-dongs over here. Second target. So, um, now let this helicopter go by. Yeah, so there's these huge metal racks, and they were just filled with plastic bags with all these parts. And these parts had to be burred or checked or, you know, straightened. I mean, all this different work to be done. These All these aircraft parts, but they could pour, they could be assembled into sub assemblies, which are then, you know, assembled to make a fucking airplane. And there was all these racks. There was like eight of these racks in this work area. And they were all packed with bags. I mean, well over a thousand jobs there. And, you know, and people were just like barely just moving along. I mean, they were at, moving at a snail's pace, man. I just grabbed, started grabbing bags, man. I grabbed like five bags at once. And that flipped everybody out right from the get-go. They're like, what the fuck's this dude doing? He just grabbed like five jobs at once. Like, oh, you can't do that. I'm like, uh, why not, man? I'm like, is somebody going to come and, like, what, tell me I can't take five jobs back to my workbench? You know? And, oh, yeah, they were, like, flipping out, man. All these people I was working with, it was not, like, a cool... They didn't like it, see? It's like, it's like this whole crazy concept of nobody wanted to work. I was like, okay, well, that's a little weird. So I knocked those things out real fast. Like half an hour, man, something like that. And of course, you know, everybody, oh my God, man, this is like, I forgot I got fucking fences here that I got to get by. I uh, fucking, I love this, but I got to keep forgetting I got to come in from the other side. Frag out. Him. Can we open up the fence here? Hold on. There we go. You good? Yeah, we got the fence open. All right, we'll let him calm down a bit. Go over there and get him. Wow, that's a great deal for seven bucks, bro. Holy shit balls, Morton. Good, really good deal, man. That's crazy, man. Oh, it's a Western Digital, too? Nice, man. Nice. Good fucking steal, bro. Wow. That's fucking crazy, man. They gave that fucking drive away, man. What the fuck you got at that cheap? That's pretty cool. Nice steal, man. I know you're building a new gaming PC. Yeah, that's fucking great. Glad to hear that. Okay, where's the... Whoa, 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 whoa. He's right there.
Yeah, that's that's a crazy deal, man. Seven fucking dollars. Jesus fuck. Drives are that's like that's insane. Of course, you know, I even saw, you know, the M two drives. M two drives are solid state drive, but they plug right into your motherboard, right? So they're basically about half as half as big as a memory stick. You know, as your dim that go in your computer about half that long. So you know, they're about an inch inch wide and you know about two and a half inches long, like a notebook memory size, right? So the two terabytes have been up around two hundred dollars for a long time, and now they're starting to drop. So, because I have a slot on my motherboard for a two terabyte, so I might end up getting one of those. To, because um, I can always put shit on that. Maybe if I, if I want to, I do have a slot for that. I can put my operating system on that to boot up off of that, and then just run my games on this eight terabyte. So I'll see. I'll see which way I'm gonna go. Maybe I'll go this way this time. The Pink Panther. I hear ya. That's a that was a exceptional price, man. God damn you, motherfucker. It's over. Oh, God, fuck me, man. This guy came out from around the corner of the building. I'm butt hurt. Damn it. I'm so upset. Alright, come on, man. It's pending install, pending install. This one's installing 74%. All right, 75. Hey, it's still open from the last time. What do you know? God damn it. Fuck me, man. Let's restart this, get those updates installed. I'm telling you, man. Uh, bullshit, huh? BS. It's funny how we never really saw them too much. All this, you know, I mean, killing all these guys, right? We haven't had any unit dad. But then all of a sudden, boom. 
They're like coming out whoops, coming out of the woodwork. Get him. Ah, oh, shit balls, man. I got him and then I thought, oh, and I think there's somebody coming up the staircase. So I was going to get the guy coming up the staircase and he got me. Damn it. Oh, it's, I know. It is what it is, kids. That's all I can say. I'm telling you, Morton, it's like I'm still getting over this cold, bro. Thanks. I'm multitasking. I'm actually working on a customer's notebook here. I put a new motherboard in this morning for them. This is his daughter, and she's dying to get her notebook back. So I'm trying to do that. Look at the chat. Do the silly challenge because I'm got my mind on Ms. Nomad and hanging out with her and doing whatever it is that we're going to do. Uh, I don't know whatever it is. I haven't figured it out yet, but we're going to do something. Now oh, there it goes. Now it's shooting them fucking automatic. Fucking thing was on like single shot. The Spectra. Alright. Try this again. Can't have too many more of these guys. Oh, thank you. Whiskey? Oh, no. No, no, I don't drink whiskey, man. Gross. Maybe some tequila, bro. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not relaxed at all now. Now I'm totally upset, bro. Well, my relaxability factor just went out the door. Got my girl over there, man. I gotta come and get her. Fuck this game. Oh my god, not the convoy again. What the hell is going on with this game, man? I can deal with this effing convoy. Drive me crazy. How many more of these guys do I gotta do? God damn, man. Four more. Oh, mother of God. And that guy's got like eyes in the back of his fucking head for some reason. Sniper, top of the tower. I guess we'll go this way. Oh shit balls, man. Just spotted one with some machine guns. Vector, vector, bitches. Fuck 
that Americano. Boom. Uh-oh. I don't know about that, man. You just do that. Oh, shit. He's on the side over here. Yeah, I'm still here, concentrating. That's a hidden challenge, man. He's in the communication building. Let me show you where. He's easy to find. Get him! God damn it! Fucking motherfucker! Fucking bitch! I'm okay. I recovered. It's all good. Wow, that was close.
All right, so you want to know where that guy's at? Talks on the radio. Where is it? I'll show you. Oh, God damn it. That's some fucking bitch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy stud nothing. Oh, fuck. Guess they weren't waiting around for me, were they? Oh, oh my. Oh, password, good. What's her password? Thank God. Where did I go? Shit on my customers for the deal. Give me a second. That's definitely the best part. It's the best part of the best part. Dude. I will get a bit I will get better eventually bro girlfriend's sick now man see where it's it's going around close one drive I'm sorry I'm trying to multitask right now it's got all this crap that's starting up that she doesn't really mean shouldn't really start up, but whatever. That's another problem. People have trouble because Spotify, you can d designate it whether it wants to use hardware acceleration or not. Oh, very funny, Ms. Nomad. God damn it. You are so fucking funny, I forgot to fucking laugh. Yeah, I think it's actually me killing them is the challenge. Yes. I believe you are correct. Sometime before the next century, right?
very funny, 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 man. So funny. So funny, I forgot to laugh. See if I need to update anymore on this thing. Candy Crush Saga. Candy Crush Friends. It's got Candy Crush on here. I can actually play Candy Crush on my customer's computer to test it. That would be epic, huh? I could stream that. Stream stream SARS playing Candy Crush. Check for updates. Yes, we are gonna check for updates. Oh, I don't know, but I'm sure you're going to tell us, bro. Inquiry minds want to know. How do we do that? I'm at a loss to even think how, how, how we would do that. Oh, my God. You're crazy, dog. I knew it had something to do with my nuts. I just couldn't think of the right answer, but I knew it had something to do with my nuts. I knew that much. I knew it was a nutty answer. So nuts to that one, huh? I got a target carrying or should I just nuts. say, ah, oh, nuts. I should have thought of that answer before. Or nothing happening here. Right? Or I'm nothing without you? How's that? Well, everybody knows I'm gone nuts. It's not I'm going nuts. All right, so there we go. Download and install. We have new features, Windows. She's going to get Windows 1909. We might as well put it on hers. We're paying for all this work. We might as well give them all the good stuff, huh? I can't figure out what you want. It's going to lock into place. A little stuff. There it goes. I might have got it now. I might have got it now. There we go. Got it. All right. Yep. Yeah, Mazel well download 1909. That's the newest version of Windows. Cool. She's rocking it. Come to Papa. That's how you get that one done, soldiers. Lights out. There we are. Got our task force challenge done. Got all our challenges done. We're done. Alright, so this is how we're going to do this, kids. Just sit right back in here with Dale, the Dale of a feet foot jump that started from this traffic boat aboard this tiny... Oh, no, that's a different game. Sorry. It's a different one, man. That's not this game. All right. So, did everybody enjoy that? All right. Everybody that's watching? <laughs> oh! Hey! Bratters, 866. Very funny joke, man. Very funny. 
chocolate nuts. How about chocked full of nuts? All right, so what we're going to do is, everybody, please, what you're going to have to do is I'm going to stop the stream, and I'm going to restart the stream. And when I restart it, you got to hit refresh on your browser here. Okay, so you will re reconnect again, and then we'll do the 1,700-meter shots with Ms. Nomad. Does that make sense to everyone? This way I can get this video up for all the challenges, and we can get on to the next video. Okay? So... Okay, so I'm disconnect. Give me like, you know, everybody give me 30 seconds and we'll reconnect again. Alright? So until I see you then, this is Sergeant.